Dr. Katsura. Hey. Uh, my mom is having trouble deciding between a cervical fusion and a cervical laminoplasty. What would you say are the pros and cons of each procedure? So these are two very common procedures that are used to treat cervical compression, or otherwise known as cervical stenosis, which is compression of the neck and spinal cord. And cervical fusion, basically what you do is you clean out the disc and replace that disc with a prosthesis that's a metal implant, otherwise known as a cage. And then those two vertebrae are connected with the plate. That's called the fusion. So that's a very effective and tried and tested method for treating cervical stenosis. A cervical laminoplasty is a very elegant procedure that does not require fusing two vertebrae together, but can still accomplish decompression. And so in that case, the surgery is actually performed through the back of the neck and using a small plate, which I colloquially call a paper clip, we're able to expand the diameter of the spinal canal without impairing any motion of the vertebrae. They both have their respective uses in spine surgery, and I think sometimes both can be indicated. It depends on your surgeon's preference. I always try to use laminoplasty when possible because we want to preserve as much motion of the neck as possible. So it just depends on your own clinical situation and what your surgeon feels is best for you. And follow me for more.